Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sketch Tour 1 of uh, my three part series. This is Voiceover Water Drain. Yay! And yes, this is my sketchbook. So I thought I'd share with you all today um, my sketchbook because I recently finished it uh, sometime this month and I thought it would be fun to uh, share what I have and um, share my process because I'm sort of a firm believer of um, sketchbooks should be um, a space where you put down your ideas and um, experiment a little bit. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about what I have in my sketchbook. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this was when I was um, part of the um, artist um, artist at Ready uh, OCT. That was an interesting time. Um, unfortunately, I had to drop out because um, it was a little bit too stressful for me. Um, and I wanted to focus on other things. Uh, also, I'll be skipping a couple of pages in here, so um, because I like to uh, do vent comics and stuff. Ooh. Now, I really enjoy uh, this page because I really like um, some of the markers that I did on this page, and that's Thinker with the big cloud. And oh, it's a good boy. Eesh. Yes. Um, so I'm I'm actually doing a voiceover over my uh, sketchbook because um, I thought it would be easier for me. Uh, but yeah. Um, so I honestly really like to use a uh, ballpoint pen for some of my sketches, and um, I think it's a little bit um, easier and less stressful. Um, oh, oof, I really don't like this page. This was a page that I was really struggling on, and I was trying to get some ideas down, and just didn't turn out right. Uh, but you know what, sometimes that happens. Like, sometimes you just have, like, really bad sketches. And here's a page of all of my uh, thumbnails for my webcomic. Uh, I usually like to sketch them out and um, experiment what kind of panels and frames I want to use in them. Oh yeah. And this was when I was studying how I should draw heads. I was really, so I still struggle a little bit on uh, uh, face placement, uh, mostly uh, with the eyes. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. Uh, high five, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's another one, another high five. Oh, and this was when I was like testing out some of my uh, markers that I found uh, recently. I have a whole bag of them and I wanted to see if I can use them. Oh, that was the third anniversary of my webcomic. Oh, yeah. Oh, no pencils or erasers. Hmm, that's pretty good. Yeah. It always like amazes me when people can like draw their characters like without um, like erasing and um, sort of settling. Now this is like my favorite page, one of my favorite pages out of my sketchbook, um, mostly because I really like all the expressions that I made. I apologize for the noises from outside because um, there's like construction, but um, I really do like how Mar Margo is uh, collapsed in the side there and um, there's a lot of good um, 
studies here and there. One more comics. Yeah. This was when I was trying to figure out um, uh, how to introduce the monster um, in my comic, or at least one of the monsters. There's absolutely going to be several. Um, but uh, yeah, thumbnailing is fun. I think it's a good process to, to do when you're making a comic and stuff. Oh, that's Meg from uh, Buzz Lightyear Star Command. That was such a great show. I really enjoyed that show growing up. So, like, think about um, the concepts that they had for um, for her. Nope. Oh gosh, it's not Meg. It's I forget her, what her name was. She she probably looked that up. Um, and. Here are some studies. I like to um, practice some studies, and I was also uh, working on um, my uh, my Sona uh, at the time. I really liked this um, this style, but I decided not to keep it because um, it reminded me of somebody else's Sona. Oh, I love this buff character. I wonder what I should use them for. Not sure. Oh, and this is when. Oh, plant buds. I remember going to a cafe while I was drawing these guys because there was a lot of like great plants um, they had there, and um, after drawing them, I decided to like personify them. I thought they would be really cute to draw. I also was trying to figure out like uh, different concepts for uh, pins and stuff. So I was making like a seasonal uh, witchy pin. And of course, uh, fall got a little bit smudged. Uh, I'm not sure how, but I think I was using too much ink and I kind of smeared it a little bit. Oh, yeah, this was when I uh, was doing Inktobers, and I wanted to do D&D characters, and I really like how this uh, this person came out, and I was like, oh, really love that one. And I also really like how this one came out, too. I wish I remember um, what the species were called for each one, but... And this one's really good too. Now there was a few um, since I was making these every day that I didn't really like so much, but um, yeah, this one was was one of them because I I think I was like rushing it a little bit, and that's that's sort of what happens with uh, Inktober's. This one, yeah, not so much either. Uh, I do like this one though. I really like her concept. I think I made of her arm a little bit too long there holding the beer um more thumbnails for my comic oh i really like these doodles of marco but she kind of does her hair she kind of has like a little floofy hair Oof, i really don't like this one it's um really could have fixed the face on there and i don't really like this one either uh I do like the concept of this one. I wish that um, they were holding uh, something a little bit different, like maybe weapons instead of um, instead of uh, bells. I think I was using a D and D uh, generator for some of these. Oh, and here are some of my um, uh, object head uh, characters. I was. Uh, designing some uh i'm so sorry for the beeping outside um i was designing some characters for a uh, a zine or a zine um 
I, of course, I messed up the, the concept a little bit because they were asking for like uh, different objects for different jobs and I ended up doing an, an object for a particular job, but I really like how this concept came out and I even like made a print and, uh, and there was Spider-Verse. I really enjoyed that movie so much. Ah, oh, that was such a good movie. And on to other sketches. Still love Steven Universe. It's still a pretty good show. There are like a few um, things about it that aren't the best, but hey, not every show is perfect. Um, I also really like this page. The one of um, where there's hands and then there's like this tree on the side. Um, I remember hanging out with a friend of mine at a cafe. Um, we were just talking about uh, different projects and stuff while doing this page. Oh. And this was when I was tr like trying to get myself to draw a little bit more. Um, and I think like, ooh, that's a very good Travis. Um, honestly, I feel like you shouldn't really force yourself to draw unless uh, you have like the time to experiment and stuff, but oh, little moments. But um, if you feel stressed out over um, drawing like every single day, like people tell you, um, I feel like it's best to like take a break once in a while um, and draw what you what you enjoy um, when you do have uh, the energy to um, sketch and draw. Now, this was when I was trying to figure out um, some villain designs. I'm just not sure if I really like the roundness of that one lady, but and this was when I was trying to think about like what if uh, Thinker had uh, other facial features. Of course, that didn't work. Oh, I really like um, the expressions of uh, Margo on this page. And I really love that sketch of Thinker and Margo. I think that's a very good sketch. And it's Mob Psycho. God, I love that show so much. It's so good. Um, very motivational and stuff. And this was when I was trying to figure out my persona because most of my friends were like, hey, you should design your own persona. And I was like, okay. And um, I think I ended up uh, going with a uh, hellhound for my persona. Um, and this was when I was like dueling with a red ink pen that I found on the ground. Thought it was fun. Yeah, a lot of these sketches don't really make sense, but... Uh... Oh, this was when I was trying to get used to drawing uh, Moomin as uh, his monster form. Uh, when I was doing my shot for Moomin Reanimated, which is still going uh, currently, uh, it's almost complete. I still need a few more shots, but hopefully it'll come out soon this year. Oh, so excited. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes sketches don't really have to make sense. Like, you can just doodle whatever you want. And this was when I was also figuring out um, uh, Marco's apartment uh, space. The more thumbnails come thumbnails. And Bee and Puppy Cat. Yeah, I did a, a shot for um, Bee and Puppy Cat reanimated. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Who dis? Mm, I don't know. Old <laughs> man. Sorry. Um, and this is Ruby. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll show a video of her at the end of the video. But I really like that doodle of her. Um, I also really like this Marco and Thinker down here. And there's Karma de Frog. I still think about, like, um, the cover that Kermit the Frog did. It's like, this isn't my house. This isn't my beautiful wife. These are also some notes from uh, the Netflix recruiter stuff. Uh, 
yeah I I know I shouldn't probably use um, my sketchbook as a notebook but I don't know I see it as like a way of studying and stuff like, I also really this is another one of my favorite um, pages and oh it's my robot and my well and oh yeah I really wanted this to be like one of my tattoos or like this sometimes I still think about um, getting a tattoo but I'm a little bit too afraid of um, needles for that sort of thing um, there's some good thinkers mm -hmm. more concepts and stuff hands yeah sometimes when I don't know what to draw but I want to draw um, I usually just do some hand studies because hands are always really hard and that's because um, you just look at your hands all the time and you expect them to look a lot different than they really are. This was when I was trying to get um, uh, Treasure Planet uh, stuff uh, or like Treasure Planet studies. And I think this is, oh gosh, what is this? I think it's Tim. Tim. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely had a hard time trying to figure out his design because um, I wanted it sort of close to Glen Kane's um, style, but I also wanted it to be um, my personal style. More expressions and more character explorations. Oh, a very touching moment. And this is a little bit spoilerific. Spoiler, it's a little bit of spoilers, but not too spoilery. I think for my webcomic but um, yeah uh, this is Garfield Garfield's one of my characters and he does get a little bit fancy for time and this is the last page oh I really like this page and how it came out um, little hollow cup um, yeah and possibly a new character mm hmm yes and there's Cassius. Oh my god. He never really appeared in this. Can't believe it didn't draw him in there. And there we go. Wow. Another three years. This was a tough time period to get through. Well, on to the next book. Yep. And that's it for my sketchbook. This was, um, let's see, it was uh, 2016. Oh, no, not 2016. 2018 till 2021. So in the next video, it'll be 2016 to 2018. See you then.